<clears throat> What's going on guys? How y'all doing tonight? Southern guy here. Where have I been and where have I gone? You're probably wondering where have I been? Well I will tell you. Well we kicked off the week and started with the as y'all don't know, Mardi Gras started here. Um, the Friday, I can't remember what day it was, it was Friday, I believe it was February 10th, I'm not sure, so we kicked off with the Mardi Gras season, that's where I've been going, and that's where I've been at, I've been at Mardi Gras, probably wondering where I haven't been, the other night, I went to Mardi Gras with my aunt, she didn't have nobody to go with her, so I went, took the liberty of going to Mardi Gras with her, and stuff, so, that's where I went the other night. Sorry, I haven't have had an uh, upload lately. Been kind of just taking it easy and taking a little break from YouTube, kind of get rested, you know, because I needed some rest. Since my mom's passing, now it's been kind of a little rough for me. Um, a little rough for me, but uh, I know we never were very close, but. She was my mother, you know, after all, and, you know, I loved her to death, even though we didn't ever have a close, uh, very close relationship, mother and son relationship, but I loved her, just like I love my half-brother, which is her other son, Colin, well, I love my other brother, I got to see him at the, at the, uh, remembrance, of my mother, so and I got to talk to him and gave him a hug and stuff. But I went, uh, but the, but the but the week pretty picked up pretty good after that. I went to Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras started here at my hotel. It's about over. Mardi Gras is almost over. We got another week next Tuesday. Mardi Gras the end of the Mardi Gras season here in my hometown of Mobile. Next. Um, Mardi Gras will kick back up again next year sometime. I'll have to find out with the official date, uh, what year it's going to start next year, 2018. But Mardi Gras will be back next year. I'm going to try to go to Mardi Gras this weekend and this week. I'm going to go Thursday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and try to go to Sunday there today because the day parades up on Sunday all day. And I don't know if we'll go Monday or not, turn the last days or not. I guess we'll find out. But yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy the last week, enjoy my time, and go on to Mardi Gras. But that's not what this is about tonight. Tonight we're about we're about Monday Night Raw review. And as I stated always, I bring great reviews here and great uh, video content. I didn't get to show y'all yet, but I did a gaming video. I've been doing gaming with my character on 2K17 for PlayStation 4. And I've been winning matches, winning matches, winning matches. I've been on a roll of winning matches for WWE 2K17. I beat Zack Ryder. I beat the Los Matadors in a tag team match with my tag team partner. I beat, uh, let's see, who else did I beat? There's a bunch of people I beat. I beat Samoa Joe on the game. I beat quite a few people, a lot of people on the game. I won some matches by count out, what well, some matches by pitfall. But I've been winning, that's all that matters is the win and get the victory. I'm hoping to move on to get championships. I hope to make my way through and get championships, opportunity on the W2K17. But uh, that's not what this is about tonight. Tonight's about Monday Night Raw review. Hold on, Matt. Got something on my face here. Yeah. get okay. Now let's get this started. Let's get this thing rolling, guys, so I can get done. WWE Raw review and results and reactions for WWE by that Raw, February twentieth, twenty seventeen. Raw was at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, L.A. tonight. We got a remembrance video, a rest in peace video, rest in peace for George the Animal Steel, and I even come off the the cold bass. Who y'all don't know passed away. She has a girlfriend that uh, she had passed away. Was informed by her girlfriend 
Paul Bass was informed by. Um, the show opens with the video package for last week's festival of Fred's with Kevin Owens turned on Chris Jericho, which I'm a big fan of Kevin Owens. I gotta admit, I like Kevin Owens' work right now. His work ethic is really good. He did really good. Um, Kevin Owens cuts a promo while sitting in a chair in the ring with a spotlight on him. Owens quickly turns the focus of his promo from Gold from Jericho to Goldberg. This could easily describe, be described as Kevin Owens' pipe bomb. No more contenders match. Enzo Amore, Big Cass for Enzo Amore and Big Cass defeated Sheamus and Cesaro after Big Cass hit the hit Cesaro the East Crossing at nine minutes. Enzo Amore cut a promo after the match leading to Sheamus attacking him. We get a backstage promo where Big Foley tells Kevin Owens he is facing Sami Zayn tonight. We see a video package. We see a video. Uh, we see a video package of Braun Strowman, Destruction, and Bailey's big win, title win last week. Backstage, when Roman Reigns walks into McFoley's office and says he'll stay out of the main event before Luke Gallows' car enters and interrupts, Roman will find a partner to face the tag team champions tonight. Aaron Talkwood versus Brian Kendrick didn't happen. Kendrick attacked him and walks off backstage. Clearly asked Kendrick about his actions. Brian says tonight's first lesson was about respect. Uh, beats his respect into him. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson defeated Roman Reigns by DQ. After the match, Roman used a chair in 4 minutes and 4 seconds. Roman clears the ring after the match. By nailing the champions with the chair, chair shots and spears. Earlier today on TMZ, the new day was announced will be the host of WrestleMania 33. They cut a promo on hosting the big show before their tag team tag team match. The new day and Lana traded shots at each other. The new day. With Xavier Woods versus Rusev and Jinder Mahal with Lana. After Kofi hit Midnight Hour on Mahal, a video package was shown of George at a Bastille. Austin Aries hosting a contract signing for the Fastlane Cruiserweight Championship match. Jack Gallagher is already in the ring. He signs a contract after a brief promo. Neville finally comes out and signs a contract. Jack Gallagher doesn't let him walk away easily. That easy. Neville cuts a promo on Gallagher. And Neville tosses the table aside. This leading to Gallagher attacking Neville. Takes a headbutt. And falls out of the ring. Nia Jax squashed Sasha, uh, Santa, Sasha Pierce. Viva Samoa drop in 30 minutes. Carly interviewed Nia Jax after in the ring afterwards. Nia says he's the only controversy she sees in the fact that she's in no for the title. She also dares Bailey and Sasha to pull a stunt like last week on her as she's putting the championship champion on notice. After the break, Raw Women's Champion Bailey comes out to speak as she finishes her celebration. Stephen Man comes out and visually suggests that Bailey should relinquish the title. After the way she won last week, Sasha comes out, out to stop Bailey. Bailey said that she Bailey says hell no, she's not giving up the title. Charlotte comes out and announces that she that's her she's revoking her re, rematch clause. For fast lane, Sasha puts in her two cents, leading to Stephanie Mann booking a singles match right now. Sasha defeated Charlotte Beva Bank's statement about nine minutes. Bailey and Bailey was on commentary for the match and ended up preventing Dana Brooke from interfering at the end. Hall of, a Hall of Fame video airs of, uh, airs on Diamond Dallas Page is being deducted at the to the 
2017 class of the WWE Hall of Fame. Congratulations, DDP. Uh, Carly interviewed Sami Zayn backstage as he is told that Jericho months and butts that he would, but this would happen. Zayn brings up some more Joe. After bringing in Thomas Selfish like Kevin Owens, Zayn says the the story with Joe is far from over. Joe ambushes Sami Zayn on the ramp. Joe nails him with a running senton on the floor before tossing him back in the ring. And the ring bell begins. Kevin Owens defeated Sami Zayn with a pop-up powerbomb in under two minutes. Stephanie McMahon Foley would talk backstage and tell Stephanie she put herself in the position of embarrassment. Stephanie said Foley is nothing short of being. Big Foley tells Stephanie not to treat him like he's stupid. Foley gets in the last word and walks off. We got a backstage interview. Michael Cole was live with Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman. Heyman sits down for an interview and calls recaps that Lesnar will officially This week, face Goldberg at WrestleMania. Heyman interrupts and cut, tells Cole to lower his voice to the justice tone. Lesnar takes Cole's chair and stares into the camera as Heyman talks in the background about Kevin Owens being being now the host, a ruthless champion in WWE, but the Beast dis disagrees. Heyman hints at the fact that Lesnar will end up Taking the Universal title at WrestleMania. Goldberg will be on Raw next week. Next week, Raw on the go home to Fastlane. Also, Seth Rollins will appear for the first time since being since his injury. Braun Strowman defeated Big Show in the main event of WWE Raw with the power slam in 11 minutes and 40 seconds. Immediately afterward, after the match, Roman Reigns runs down. It hits two Superman punches on Braun Strowman and counters the spear with a drop kick. Strowman drives Roman into the mat with a running power slam to end WWE Monday Night Raw. Hope you all enjoyed this WWE, Rider, WWE Monday Night Raw review tonight. Results, reactions, sections tonight. Well, they were in Los Angeles tonight. Pretty good show. I hope you all enjoy it. Hope y'all enjoyed this raw review tonight. Please give this video a thumbs up. Hit the thumbs, hit that big thumbs up. Don't get subscribed to my channel at the guy one thirty five or YouTube.com. Follow me on Twitter at Daddy Parker twenty seven. Instagram Juju Daddy Parker as always. I hope y'all enjoyed this Daddy my raw review results and reaction for February twentieth, twenty seventeen. I hope y'all have a great night, and I'll see y'all guys right back here for SmackDown Live. We got a huge SmackDown Live. Um. Battle Royal determine a new number one contender for Bray Wyatt's WWE Championship. I'll be back right here tomorrow night for the official SmackDown Live review. Until then, I'll talk to you later. Guys, later. Have a great night.